What is going on, my main macaques? My baboon brothers? My wonderful wowgoos? Deej is here with an Advanced Wars by Web replay analysis. The streak continues. What sort of streak? A banger! Streak? That's right. We got ourselves another banger on the books today, boys. This one featuring our main man, Tanky Tordred, the first strong ass player. And our guest is um, Chinese uh, symbol. We can just call him uh, Chinese player uh, CP for. Oh no, let's not call him CP. Um, China P. Chimpy. Chimpy! Chimpy the monkey. Okay, we got Chimpy versus Tordred and this banger. So, let's talk about this map right here. It's actually eh, relatively new. It's called uh, Cross Country Rivalry. It's actually a playoff of a similar map called Cross City Rivalry, I believe. Uh, but I actually like this one better. It's a new and improved version of Cross City Rivalry. Cross Country Rivalry. A small fog map with two bases. Now let's, let me just start off by talking about the current fog meta in Advanced Wars by Webb. Currently, if you have a three base fog map, Olaf is picked like 70% of the time. And that's kind of not really that fun. You get a lot of Olaf mirrors. You, sometimes you get Olaf versus Max and Olaf wins. Sometimes you get Olaf versus Eagle and Olaf usually wins that. And they're usually like medium to large maps. So I don't really like the Olaf heavy meta. Even though I use Olaf a good bit myself, it gets stale after a while. Which is why I love smaller maps, which discourages Olaf and pushes Max more to the forefront. And I also like two base maps, where it pushes more Max to the forefront and Eagle to the forefront, and Olaf's global damage doesn't really do as much at all. Uh, and the smaller maps also discourage the Winter Fury because you don't have to move as far to get places anyway. So Olaf gets nerfed every time there's two bases, and every time it's a smaller map. And this map right here has both of that. And I don't see a single Olaf in sight. Oh, it feels good. I mean, I love Olaf, but it gets freaking boring. So we're going to see some more Eagle. We're going to see some more Max. Fortunately, Grit is banned on this map. Grit would be busted as all hell on this map. So no Grit. Look at all these forests. It's small and there's forests. Grit would just dominate. So we're going to see a lot of Max. We're going to see a lot of Eagle. Maybe some Eagle mirrors. Some Max mirrors. Sometimes you get the legendary Eagle versus Max matchup. Now, Eagle and Max. Max, I love on two base maps, especially small two base maps. Uh, he's typically the number one pick on a lot of these maps, especially if there's a lot of roads, which there are. So Max is actually the go-to pick for a sort of map like this. Eagle, on the other hand, he likes two bases more than Olaf, but he doesn't have as many units producing in two base maps. And he typically likes larger two base maps, so he can, you know, proliferate some more army before he pops his scop, his superpower. But, however, there's something a little different about this map. Artillery are quite good, which makes Max actually go a little bit down in usage, and Eagle go up a bit in usage. So we got some... This is probably, honestly, one of the healthiest map matchups I've seen to date. Two base, where Artillery are good. Max and Eagle... Eagle? <laughs> Max and Eagle are neck to neck in this matchup. You know why? Because Artillery are good. Also, you need an Artillery to kill this missile. You see there's this missile at the top for the orange player blocking Black from getting this airport. So you have to kill it off. Put an artillery here, it takes two turns for an artillery to reach this spot, shoot it down in two turns, and then you can capture with an infantry. But as Max, you don't really want to build an artillery, it's going to take three turns to get to that forest, and then it's going to have like, what, two range, and it sucks, and you kill the missiles, and then you get the airport, but... So, there's a bit of a discouragement against Max in that front, however, you can kill it other ways, you can... I guess infantry the only way, it's surrounded by rivers, so unless you get an artillery, you're gonna have to kill with infantry surrounding, taking up a lot of valuable infantry capture time. Uh, so once Max finds a way around that though, he'll be powerful as hell pumping out battle copters in this low income map. 17k means you, or not even, 16, no, 17k. 17k non two base map, tank, copter, infantry every turn. 17k is the golden amount you want to achieve when you're on a two base map. Once you have 17k, Every single turn, tank, copter, infantry. Tank, copter, infantry. And you're going to love your life. 18k, 19k is nice as well, so you can have some repair funds uh, to heal up your units in the meantime. Uh, but I really love this matchup right here. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty contested. Usually, it's strong side, weak side is a lot more ambiguous on this map. You can choose either or as your strong side. Typically, from what I've seen though, since the airport is up here, this will be the strong side for black, and this will be the strong side for orange once you take control of the... Our, uh, the uh, airport because then you can get a copter fighting over here over the comp tower over this property over there within one turn however I mean you can fight in the middle as well but most of the contested properties are going to be the comp towers 
and this property right here and this property right here are juicy little juicelers. This one, this one, this one, this one, I'd say the most contested property is on this entire map uh, because this is out of the range of the airport reinforcements. It's two turns from over here. It takes a long time for this to reinforce over here. There's a lot of, there's a bit of a split because if you want to go to the top, you go around this way away from the forest because you have to go through two forests to go to the top. And if you want to reinforce over here, it's a little hard to go strong side, weak side. So typically you're going to see one base room first, one base on airport versus one base versus one base on airport. It's a little hard to combine your forces unless you're fighting in the middle. So it's a little wonky map. And you know, I love my little wonkster maps. So it's, it's sure to be a banger, which is why this game is a banger. And you got a little random lab in the middle that no one cares about. Anyway, Tordred, let's talk about the players real quick. Tordred, everyone knows Tordred. He's like a 1500, 1600 player in Fog. He's phenomenal. Second best Fog player behind Go7 in my humble opinion. And uh, yeah, there's not much else to say about him. He's aggressive, he loves his tanks. He earns his name Tanky Tordred. Ch uh, Chimpy over here, don't know too much about him. He's a very competent player, around 1400. Um, very aggressive player from what I've seen in his other matches. He's a very skilled player, very aggressive. He's a more of a new account. Uh, so he doesn't have as many games under his belt as Tordred, or maybe he does under alts for all I know. Uh, but a very competent player. So without further ado, let's get into this game. Because it's a banger. Alright, so Chimpy starting off at the top. Builds two infantry. Brings his infantry down. We're going to go through this infantry capping phase pretty quickly because there's nothing really too crazy about it. You get this cap over here and then you have a nice chain, chain, chain. But you're going to get busted after. You might get early control of the comp tower over here as orange, but you're eventually going to lose it once they get control of the airport. So the comp tower is temporary. Uh, some people like to capture this and then they just like hang back in this forest or they go back to the center over here instead because the comp tower, having a comp tower for two or three turns isn't really worth it that much uh, in the small map where you only have two bases where your infantry could be capturing something else in the meantime. Tordred builds his first artillery. The meta is bring it up here in one turn. One, two, three, four, five. Two turns, fire, fire, capture the airport. And you're sitting pretty. So that's the meta. But tank over here because Max, who gives a shit about meta when you're Max, dude? You can't, artillery? They have three turns to get over there and then it sucks a fat one afterward? You know, you gotta improvise. I, I'm surprised I didn't see an early recon actually. I, just, I honestly expected a recon then a tank, um, but you know, he doesn't give a shit. He has already has quite good vision over here. I'm surprised he brought his uh, tank over on this side as well. I mean, it will be a strong side later on, but maybe his ideas in the middle in denying this property for uh, black or maybe even denying these properties. Uh, so let's see what he does with the tank. But Tordred over here, double arty party. Uh, you know, no grit's not allowed on this map. Sometimes you need to role play. Sometimes people like to go heavy artillery versus um, Max just to discourage him uh, from attacking you. And you can build up your forces once you have a very strong artillery front. Uh, but he's building an artillery over here. I assume to put it in this force over here and get control of the comm tower, or at least not allow his opponent to have control of the comm tower. Sometimes you don't even really want to have it yourself. Just prevent your opponent from getting it. And we do see an, a recon over here. It takes a few turns to get into the middle. Uh, typically these recons are going to go over here and then the middle rather than to the side over here where there's less roads. Although it is, a, it's pretty nice to have it in that forest over there. An artillery there and a recon there are pretty nice, uh, nicely nestled. You can also put an artillery or a recon right here or plop a, a recon on the lab if you so choose. So we got double arty versus uh, recon and a tank so far. I'm assuming we're seeing another tank from Mr. Uh, Chimpy over here. Going heavy in the middle. Let's see, will he go for the comp tower or will he sit back and chill? He probably will bring his recon within range, maybe that force to see if there's anything on the comp tower and then attack it later. Just probing for his double reekies. Got double reekies from Max, double late reekies. He didn't build a recon first, he actually built it second. I'm wondering why he built the tank before the recon personally. Uh, let's see if he makes good use of it. Medic going forward as usual. Tordred already getting control of this or preventing uh, orange from getting control of it so far. So let's see if comp towers come into play. Tordred easily gonna get that airport next turn. Meta is easy. And uh, yep, use the recon to get vision. Get a little greedy over here, because if you know anything about the meta, you know that there's gonna be at least one infantry over here. And you see another one, so you're not gonna get that comp tower pretty very easily. However, if you do interrupt, you got a nice Riki over here. But the thing about the Riki, there's no tank backup. I would like to see the tank over here and the recon over here. So you have a recon on each side with tank backup on each side. Uh, however, I think Mr. Chimpy over here did want to have the tank chain, which is why he got those in place. And he's, like I said, you have to forego this cap 
Would have liked to get this cap a little earlier, but he has to attack twice to kill that damn missiles with his little weak infies. And they're on rivers with no defense, so any little tanky poo can go in there and wipe him off the face of the earth. Earth. The earth. Um, but yeah, so we're seeing a lot of tanks, we're seeing a lot of recons. This is standard max meta. Now, Tordred, ah, oh, you love it. That's the spot you want to be in. He wants early control of the comp tower. He's not going to be able to hold this later. I've, I'm sorry, it's just going to be a fact. Once that airport comes to control, you get a copter every turn, you get a tank every turn. Uh, this is going to be in yellow, uh, Orange's hands. But for now, hey, why not just prevent uh, that from happening? Let's see if the tank falls into the trap. The tank has no idea about this artillery right there, but he might have a little hankering. So he might go over here and attack from the back. And then you can see what's revealed in the forest. So let's see if it does that. Very aggressive uh, over here, the recon's over here. So this recon will be able to get a hit off. This tank needs to shift over to the middle though to punish whatever attacks the recon. And it looks like Tordred will allow Orange to get control of the comm tower while taking co- So each of them is taking control of their weak side comm tower. Their slightly weak side comm tower because the airport, etc. Um, so a little interesting start. We got Tordred going back to his roots now, double tanking it. I agree with that. He's got 14k income. It makes sense. Probably going to double it up next turn. And honestly, to turn after that, you want to build an anti-air because you know he's getting control of the airport over there. So I'm assuming that Max is actually going to build an anti-air and a tank this turn. That would make the most sense. Uh, kill that off. And Tordred can wait a little longer before building his first uh, anti-air. Nice maneuver over here by Mr. Chimpy. Uh, blocking the tank from killing off the recon by having this infantry over there. Uh, so pretty, pretty nice little thing going on over there. Brings the recon over there to uh, back up the units. Brings the tank into the middle, covering everything that isn't within attacking range. That recon is not in attacking range. So I'm liking Chimpy's start so far. Let's see what he does to the tank at the bottom. Oh, he didn't wrap around. He just went straight for the kill. Don't like to see that. Honestly, what I would have done, if you're feeling really feisty and you're worried about a tank attacking you from over here, actually no, the, re the infantry wouldn't have reached. I would have attacked with the infantry if it was within range, but I would have wrapped around or just held off. That's really re risky. I understand Tanky Tordred has the uh, the reputation for only building tanks, but he's he's shifted up a bit. He, don't, he wants to keep his opponents guessing. He's not easy to guess anymore. Tordred's a strong player. He's gonna get that airport next turn. Get, grabbing the lab, uh, Chimpy is for some strange reason. Ooh, I, I, I would have liked to see an anti-air this turn. Next turn, at the very latest, I swear Chimpy. Chimpy's smart, Chimpy's smart. He'll build, he'll build an anti-air. I know it, I know it. He, he's gotta build an anti-air. So there goes the tank. Boomba, Boomba, and attack instead of a cap, smart move. But, one, two, three, four, five, six. But, he does have this little bad boy over here. But, there's a few Rikis in range. And that anti-air, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so he's lucky that this, wait, can this reach? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it cannot reach. So he's lucky that that recon cannot reach. Double hit KO, and then that would go down there. But I don't think either of them can reach. Tordred doesn't get control of the comp tower, but it weakens up that tank, which is perfectly fine for him. Chippy, as the max player, needs to rely on the income advantage. If you're facing Eagle, and Eagle has in equal income to you, you're losing. You might think you're tied, you're not. You need to have at least 2K income advantage over Eagle. At least, that means one property over him. In this instance, you need to have, okay, so his income right now is lower than Tordred's. Uh, he'll be he'll be capping the airport soon and stuff, but, and he has control of these two, whereas Tordred only has this one, so he'll at least have a nice little 2K income, but ideally 4K or higher. 4K, you're starting to get to even max slightly ahead territory. 2K, I'd still argue that Eagle is actually better positioned than you are. Uh, depends on the size of the income, of course, in like a 17 income base map, uh, 2K is a lot bigger than in a 25K on each side income map, so. But you know, as max, you really wanna have that income advantage early. Luckily for uh, for Mr. Chimpy over here, he does spot the, spot the artillery. And now he's gonna have an income advantage. Fashao retreats, doesn't even bother attacking. He's gonna bide his time and he's gonna be able to break through with recon, double tanks, bring this tank in. And now, if, I swear to God, he has enough for anti-air. He has to build an anti-air from this base. Let's see, Chimpy, this is, this is where, where big boys are made. All right. And Tordred's gonna build a copter, I'm sure. 
So that was disappointing. That was disappointing. That was disappointing. All right, Chimpy. And he's giving up this property over here. He, honestly, I, I kind of agree with that. You don't really want to fight over here too long. It's more on Tordred's side, and there's going to be reinforcements from the airport within two turns. You want to be beating the shit out of Tordred on this side if you're Chimpy. And I think he might be doing a mini front shift while he's at it. Not entirely sure what he's doing. But uh, he built a medium tank, which, uh, okay. Fighting into that, no. Okay, well, copters don't really do that much damage to recons. It's a fun fact about Advanced Wars. For some reason, they only do like 40, 50% or something. They do more damage to a tank than to a recon. It makes kind of like no sense, but that's just the mechanics of it. And it looks like Chippy is going hard at the top, finally building that anti over there. A little late, uh, but better late than never because he would lose if he didn't. Honestly, he might want to build two anti in a row because Tordage can start pumping. Copter, copter, copter. Like there's going to be a whole bunch of them. So you might as well just build like at least two anti in my humble opinion. Now Tordred pushing over the top now, kills off the, the easy kill recon that did a little damage to the tank. Here comes the copter chain. And look right there, copter tank infantry. 17K, 17K income. Tordred is love and life. Equal income with Max. Well, Max is gonna about to have the airport, so. There's only one small little difference right here. Oh, chimpy boy. He's, he's bluffing that he has the anti-air. Um, which might work, which might work because typically you would build an anti by now, which is interesting. Uh, but Tordra does not have control of this property. So Chimpy has a 1K income advantage. 1K is not gonna cut it though. You need more than that if you're facing an Eagle. So if I'm Chimpy, I'm sweating a little bit. You need to make some uh, some plays, bud. Tordra doesn't give half flying schlip about any sort of uh, bluff because he's got a blocker here, a blocker here, a blocker here. They're all full health. You're not resting through that. Medium tank attacking that. I think that's a roll, uh, but as we know, he doesn't even have an anti air range anyway, so Tordra doesn't give a shit. He's proliferating. Luckily, Chimpy did get the memo. Chimpy's like, ooh, ah, ah, ah. Build two anti airs over here. You want to build at least two, maybe even three, because you know Tordra at 17k, he's building a copter every turn. Who even knows what a medium tank is? Copter, tank, infantry. That's all you ever want. So, Chimpy. Just gonna start uh, getting a little feisty down here. A little, I don't know if I agree with that because there's an artillery there, as you well know, and you only have a tank and a recon. I guess to distract while you get this property, but he will have a copter over here at least. Um, I don't really like attacking to something when you have most of your forces up here, um, but we'll see. That that medium tank will one shot that tank, I believe, and then you'll be able to bust through and kill that anti or that artillery. So that will be a nice turn for him. But uh, Tordred's not gonna allow Chimpy to get that uh, that uh, stupid little uh, comp tower. And Chimpy didn't even build a copter. Chimpy didn't even build a copter. Tordred backing up though. He I think he got got wind of the medium tank. He's like, oh shit. Did he capture that before he moved his? Yeah, he he captured that before. You want to use your recon first, so you have an idea what you're getting yourself into. Imagine you have that first. Now you see the medium tank. You would not have captured that with infantry. That's a main infantry. That's bye-bye next turn. Guaranteed diddy daddy. Uh, and Tordred, I'm assuming another copter because he just doesn't give a shit. 17K, nope, another artillery. He sees the medium tank, he's building an art artillery over here. Honestly, I think it takes three copters to kill a, a medium tank if it's on a plane, if you're Eagle, so it's really not, you don't really need a medium tank of your own. You can be pretty fine off with copters and pretty fine off with artillery. Uh, that's the power of Eagle, baby. Chippy coming in. Bagoomba! A little risky because that medium tank is on a plane now, but you do have double artillery. Chippy, finally. Okay, actually, no, he gave this up to Tordra, so another equal on income. So Chippy is still not in a happy position. He's not a happy boy. He is not a happy boy. Maybe his infantry is going to slink over here, but it will be attacked or in interrupted by a copter, by a tank, what have you. Now Tordra. Hmm. The bottom, they're kind of dabbling a little bit. Yeah, there you go. You open it up for that. Boom, Tordred's going in. Boom. He's not going to be able to get the superpower, so he's going to try to weaken off Max beforehand, it seems. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this. I would have, like, built up forces a little bit more, and then you'd have enough for superpower. So this is a little early for, for Tordred. 
He's so used to being aggressive, this Tordred, that he is not really playing into Eagle as he should be playing. Eagle should not be like this. And now he's gonna get punished for it, because we got a max blast. Not a max force, no, no, no. Max blast! That's a superpower, baby. Boom! -ba. That's a dead, that's a dead artillery. Boom! -ba. Boom! Dude, he's gonna get demolished this turn by Max. Right before his superpower. That's the last thing you wanna see is get demolished before you can pop your superpower. Now these anti are gonna each kill one copter. He's probably gonna kill the artillery. Dead. 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 Oh my gosh. Boom. This is brutal. Tortured is playing well, but now he's just getting slacked. Oh god, he's getting blown out of the water. Oh, you hate to see Annie's capping over here. Yeah. That's a strong max blast. Tordred probably kicking himself like, why did I attack into this? Hold back one more turn, then you might have a copter sack or something, and then you can pop a superpower off guard before Max can even use his power or superpower. That's when the game is over. When you like have a sack unit, sack a copter or two, use your superpower against Max, and then before Max uses his own power, that's basically good game. If Max doesn't pop a superpower or a power before Eagle does, that's usually good game. Even if you have to sack a copter or two to an anti-air, uh, it's usually worth it. So yeah, Tordred got slacked. But he's got a power now, a superpower rather. A lightning strike is coming. He's gonna be able to kill that medium tank. He's doing a lot of damage. There is a lot of copters. There is a lot of copters. He's doing a, a shit ton of damage. Actually, he's gonna, he's gonna brutalize uh, uh, Mr. Chimpy at the top. At the bottom, it's a different story. These tanks are scary. They're not gonna really be dislodged at all. Uh, but Tordred's demolishing Chimpy at the top, basically just destroying him. There won't be any traces of life for him after this. Um, and he's not going to capture the Comp Tower this turn. It looks like Chimpy will capture this next turn. I don't see any way in scenario that Tordred is able to interrupt that. So Chimpy will briefly have control of two Comp Towers if he interrupts with this infantry to this, which he probably will. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't. Uh, so he's going to have con brief control of two Comp Towers, which would be nice. Um, but Chimpy falling behind now. Equal income, less units, less, ew, lower units in value after the turn to Tordred to an Eagle player, less units than an Eagle player. This is looking pretty shitty. We're getting a little bit near resigned territory to be honest. But this wouldn't be a banger if it was an early resign like that. Chimpy? He's a smart chimp. He's not ooh, ooh, uh, uh. He's mm, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Mm, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. That's how he operates. He's, he's an intelligent chimp. He's the kind of chimp that presses all the buttons and gets the peanut or whatever. You, you show him a painting of like 20 different things and he memorizes it. That's the kind of chimp chimp he is. He's the main chimp. He's giving up the comp tower, so now both players have strong control of their strong sides. Like I said, an inevitability. Early on, you have control of that as black. Great! You're gonna lose that later on. You're great, you're gonna get... Yeah, you're gonna lose that. That's just how it goes. When you have an airport there, that becomes a strong side. You have an extra unit streaming in per turn. Uh, it's, you're gonna have to build anti-air over here, which means they, they can build tanks at the same turn. It's just very difficult to hold on to that side. Uh, but Chimpy does have a stronger center presence than Tordred does, as Chimpy should, because he's a freaking max player. Chimpy... He's, uh, he's surviving. He's not thriving, but he's surviving. He's got lower everything than Eagle. And you don't want to attack into that, my god. Look at those two. But if you get a max blast or a max power, boom, one shot. Boom, one shot. So, one max gets one of those powers. It's going to be ugly. But for now, max should probably just focus on the bottom over here. Front shift all these at the bottom. Win this front. Let Torture take those. Uh, just fight a war of attrition. You don't want let Eagle to build up his forces or Eagle will win. Um, you need to fight Eagle and make him lose his units, so he doesn't have unit count. But that's the exact opposite of what Chippy likes to do. He wants to attack and then lose the game. So he attacks at the top, and he's going to get shellacked by a couple artillery. And Tordred's going to front shift all these copters up there, I'm sure, because he sees that there's only one anti-air over there. And smart Tordred, he sees all the attack up here. That means attack at the bottom where it's weaker. He's going to probably front shift those two copters at the top, as he should. Or at least one of them. 
tank. Yeah, one copter, two copter. Probably build a third copter. Exactly. He actually built his own medium tank. And if I'm Tordred, um, I think medium tanks are a little dubious here, to be perfectly honest. I would have probably just built a tank, a, a, re or a tank, a copter, and an infantry. Medium tanks, I mean, they're going to die to three copters on either side. Max copters are going to three-shot it, and eagle copters are going to three-shot a max uh, tank, or a medium tank, as long as it's on, like, either a road or a plane, which is the majority of the map. Maybe on a city, you can take four shots, but we got a max force. Now, I don't think that... Maybe if you attack the three into the nine and then bust through, that might be a smart move. I don't think that one shot. So he has to sack this into there. He'd probably be able to bust through. Oh, I mean, he can also just kill this infantry and start busting through that way. Let's see what he does. Yeah, that's not going to do it. But now he sees that. Gagunga. Interesting attack over here. Going far over here. Sees the copters. Now he knows those are kind of... <laughs> nope, not quite. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait a minute. He can reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's going to kill the copter. There you go. Gagunga. And uh, sees the artillery over there. That artillery is going to get a shot off, but it's going to die. Oh, shit. Out of the woodwork, baby. Max power. That was a... Ooh, he got a little lucky there. I don't know if he calculated that. That was a... This is a good power for Max. And just like that, it looked like Chimpy was out of it. Chimpy's not out of it. He got a nice power from Torture. It doesn't have enough for a scop right now. So he's not going to be able to kill all those units that attack. Both of these attacked, killed a copter, Scott free, Scott free. I don't even know the term. I'm so dumb. However, yeah, there is no however. He basically got away with murder. He got a lot of kills and right, he's back in it. Tordred ends his turn with less unit value. More units, less unit value. They are tied on properties though. And Tordred might get control of this comp tower. Probably not because there's a copter threat always, but I'm chimpy. You're not out of the woods yet, bud. You're not out of the woods. You should go into the middle, though. Shifting all his forces, forces to the middle, not overextending. Smart. You don't want to overextend when Eagle's right near his superpower, and then you overextend and you lose your entire forces. Chippy looks like he's saving up a little bit. He's got a little money and mud money in the bank. Probably building a medium tank next turn or something. I swear these guys, you don't need medium tanks on this map. Maybe a Neo tank is, you know, better defenses against a copter, but, like, medium tank... I don't like it. Maybe a bomber? I don't know. I probably would want Neo tank. A Neo tank kind of forces a bomber. Um, which I like. So, Torture not getting too greedy over here. Recognizes this is the strong side, even though he sees a lot of forces over here. So, now we're proliferating a little bit. He, Chimpy is capturing that. He has no backup. So, a copter will have to interrupt that. Or a tank will have to interrupt that and likely die. Uh, but you don't want to give up the home tower. He's using that to scout. See if there's nothing in the way. Kills with an anti -air. Curious. Slowly bringing his units to the top over there. Got a huge death ball at the top. Literally has no vehicles over here. Nada. Three infantry, basically. Not even two infantry over there. All of Tordred's forces over here. He's got one, two, three, four, five copters. And that little shit doesn't count. That's a little sub Subway Schlopster's uh, copter. A schlop copter. But uh, Chimpy, he's scared to death of a freaking Tordred superpower. So he's getting near his base. He's like, all right, you can pop your superpower. And you can reach these units over here, but you're going to be heavily overextended. And I'm at least going to have a max power next turn. Probably a max superpower. So if you want to come into me, come and get it. Well, that sounded really wrong. <laughs> I swear, none of this is scripted, so I say some stupid shit. The Tordred, he's like, why would I attack into that? I'm Eagle. I, I recognize now. I'm, you know, my fault earlier. Shame on me once, bababa. Shame on me twice, I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's a direct quote of the actual uh, saying. Uh, but yeah, he overextended, he got punished earlier, brought Chimpy back into the game. But now, oh god, you don't want to fight Eagle when Eagle has 30 units. 150,000 unit value, oh my god. If I saw this shit and I'm chimpy, I might just consider resigning and like seeing all those units. Like that's not, that's scary. You never want to fight an eagle that's gotten that powerful. Tordred is definitely ahead at this point. I don't care what you think, Tordred is ahead. He's slow, slightly lower in unit value, but who gives a shit? When you're eagle and you're near superpower, god, I would definitely be Tordred in this situation if I had to choose. And Tordred's like, chill as a cucumber. 
gonna build another tank, another copter, probably. He's gonna go up to 50 units. He doesn't give a shit. He knows he will decimate Chimpy. Boy, I shook my computer when I said that. Uh, he's gonna decimate Chimpy. This is scary. I don't know how Chimpy's gonna survive this shit. So Chimpy comes in with this recon, he's like, oh shit. Well, that's not good. He hasn't even seen all these copters. Oh god, Tordred's gonna demolish Chimpy. Poor Chimpy. Chimpy's gonna be like Harambe. They're gonna tranquilize that son of a bitch. They're gonna destroy him. This is not gonna be pretty. Chimpy is... Chimpy is screwed. Smart on Chimpy though to build multiple anti-airs. You want at least two, three, three, four even is kind of viable because you know Tordred. He's Eagle. He's gonna be pumping out a copter every single turn. Four anti-air is fine. Five might be pushing it. That's like Mang's territory where when you see two copters, you build five anti-air. Uh, you don't really want to push it that far. Five, eh, you know, in this instance, maybe you do five. I don't know. But Tordred, slow, look how slowly slithering up there. Slithering with his little copters and his recons and everything. Oh yeah, attack this recon. Let's see what happens next turn. Oh my god, look at all those units. That is scary. And it's like so many units, not even a death ball. It's starting to become concave. That's how fucking freaking big it is. Or convex. I don't even know this shit, but it's turning into a moon. Usually you only have a lot of units as a death ball, but then it's like so many units, it starts to spill over. You have a nice banana. And then slowly, you all consume this force over there. It just wraps around, and then you're just dead. And you just accept your fate. So yeah, Chimpy. He's... It literally, this is... Tordred pushing, 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 Chippy backing up, backing up, backing up. He is scared to death. Now we have a Neo Tank. I like the Neo Tank from Chimpy. I like the Neo Tank, even though Tordred does have two, three artillery. And now Tordred does something strange. He moves to the middle. Um, I guess sensing that he might be overextending a bit. Um, builds his own medium tank. He doesn't really give a shit. We have so many freaking units. But now Chimpy's like, dude, uh, nice friendship. Why do you. Okay. So Chimpy gets a little better and a little more ballsy now. Now he's moving his units over there. He got a little bit of room by Tordred doing that. And uh, my god, I've never seen the Eagle have this many units on a two base map before. When I placed Starfash, I think we got down to like 11 units to 9 units in our Eagle vs Max matchup. We were like fighting in the teens for a bit. 14 to 15 to 16 to 12 to 11. We're in the 30s. We might even reach 40. Tordred is probably uh, having an orgasm just thinking about this right now like if you're eagle and you have this many units on a two base dude i wouldn't even give a shit i'd be like i already won now tordred decides it's time to go in tordred has had enough honestly if i'm tordred i wouldn't attack here chimpy is basically giving you all the ground you need there's no reason to attack but i think tordred was just bored off his ass honestly i would have been bored off my ass too all this bullshit going on for so long Attacks, he's going in. The superpower is coming. I it could have been better though. These artillery aren't gonna even get involved. They're not even gonna fire on anything. Oh, he's not gonna even use a superpower. Oh, all right. So he's gonna lose that medium tank though. Honestly, not a good move. That's gonna come in with a max power, maybe even one shot. I'm not sure if a neo tank one shots that with a max power, probably not. That's gonna kill a copter, that's gonna kill a copter. Oh, another baboonian move by Tordred. Chimpy's, like I said, Chimpy was like, mm. ooh ah, mm, mm, mm. ooh ah. Tordred's like, <laughs> Like he's like, um, you know, a baboon that hasn't eaten in a few days. He's just bored. He needs something to do. He needs to have a baboon war. You know how the chimps like, like murder each other and kill each other? And we're gonna have a power coming in. Yeah, we're gonna have a power coming in. Yeah. Max force. Exactly what you don't want as Tordred is to have a power push you back, make you lose a lot of units right before you use your superpower. It happened once for Tordred. He used the max power right before, weakened his superpower substantially. Happens again. Dual reasons why it's also bad for him. If you pop a max power, you also get 10% extra defense every time you use an advanced force power. Superpower, CO power, you always get 10% offense, 10% defense. So that also neuters uh, Mr. Tordred's uh, attack as well. One shot, ooh, brutalized. One shot, brutalized. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Tordred. Oh, 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 he doesn't kill the, oh, okay, interesting. 
Because if he killed that, he would have been able to kill the copter as well. But this is, Chimpy is probably like, oh my god, I thought I lost. Now I'm, I'm not lost after all. I thought I was lost, but now I'm fine. And he will actually reach the artillery and one-shot the art... Ooh. Bad roll right there. I'm pretty sure that's usually a one-hit KO. Either way, Chimpy doesn't give a shit if he got unlucky on that roll. He's happy. Look at that. Look at that. Double artillery over here, too. Look, look at that. 220,000 units as, as Sword Dread. Oh my god, his eagle. The game is already won. I swear, if he didn't attack into this, the game is already won. But Torger already got so freaking bored. I understand, man. Like, I hate stall wars. Advanced wars, it, it's, it's war. You want to murder your opponent. You want to... Okay, this sounds a little wrong, but you know what I mean? You want to have fun. You want to, you know, have some action. Torger Red bored off his ass. Now he's going to use a superpower, but he's, it's neutered significantly. It's, don't get me wrong, it's going to do a shit ton of damage, but it neutered significantly. He lost his medium tank over there. He lost his, one of his artillery over there. It's just... But here comes here comes the counterattack. See the extra defense even on a road. Still gonna free hit KO, so it's not terrible. But yeah, see the extra 10% defense. He would have been able to two hit KO this with a copter and a tank, but he can't because Chimpy got off the power. Extra defense. So let's see what Tordred can do with it. Here comes a lightning strike, significantly neutered, but like I said, still gonna be strong as sh like. Boom, bye bye. Let's see if that Neo Tank survives to see the other day. I think it will. I think the Neo Tank will be perfectly fine, to be perfectly honest. Ooh, killing off all those anti air. Mm, boom, bye. See, the Neo Tank doesn't give half a shit. It's not a medium tank. It's not going to be doing, oh, three damage and taking none back. No, you do two man damage to me. I'm doing two back to you, bisque. Better watch your ass. I'm a Neo Tank. I'm a golf ball, boy. Throughout all these fights, no change in income. No real change in anything else, but Chimpy lost half of his units. 110,000 in unit value. Now, if I'm Chimpers, I'm like, do I fight into this? Yeah, probably. To be honest, you can't back up at this point. You need to kill these copters that cost you so much harm. Revenge is on the mind. One dead copter. There's going to be a multiple dead copters. Probably three dead copters. Two dead copters. Uh, okay. Mm, okay, those two little weaklings survive. Neo tank. Just healing. And a chippy. Not a bad turn, actually, after all that bullshit happened. Like, Tortured was ahead by 30,000. He managed to lower him down to 96,000. Now, Chimpers is right back up to 126,000. So, Chimpy. Honestly, Chimpy has been saved by some serious Tordred mistakes with his superpower. Tordred should have won this game once. He should have won this game twice. But Chimpy, I mean, props to Chimpers. Props to Chimpers for staying in it. But uh, he's, he's losing a lot of units. Uh, Chimpy's getting near a superpower, though. And you don't want to mess with the max superpower near the base. Look at this. One, two, three, four. Four, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's a tank taking 16 movement. The force counts as 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're about 4 spaces closer to this base than this base over here. And that's the closest base. And then the farther base is even farther. Oh, uh, you're definitely in chimp territory, dude. You're in the baboon forest. You don't want to get in the baboon forest. Because uh, that's that's where the, the chimpies roam. Uh, and here comes a max forest. You go into the chimp territory, you're going to get baboozled. Baboonzled. And here comes Neotank. You thought he was dead? Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Chimpy. Fighting. Fighting on. Fighting on. Still lower in the units, as he has been all game. Torch is just chilling. Champion is chilling. Notice how these infantry are basically like, dude, peace. Like, just smoking it up. They don't give half a schlip. Like, these guys are just chilling. These guys are chilling. They just basically have a ceasefire. They're like, I'm the weak side. You're the weak side. Can we just chill? Coexist? Try to capture that. I'm going to kill you. Try to capture that. You're going to kill me. You know, let's chill. I like that. Makes sense. You don't want to fight on your weak side. Both of them are just going hard over here. Into Torchred's strong side, but luckily, Chimpy's not fighting here. He's fighting here. Now, Chimpy probably will not overextend over there. He probably would take control of the middle over here because he recognizes this is a strong side. We're already at day 29. 
This is the average advanced war game I think is around like 18 to 20 days. We're at day 30 pretty much and we're not near the end. So just to give you a little taste of what's to come. Now Chimpy wants the comp tower. If I'm Chimpy, I'm probably just gonna grab the comp tower and then leave. That's all you want. Get the comp tower, then leave, then go to the, the center over here. You don't wanna keep pushing. You do not wanna keep pushing down here. You got an airport right there. You got artilleries right there. Easier to reinforce as well. Uh, so let's see what Chimpster does. Chorger not allowing that easy comp tower, but not really pushing forward with his vehicles. Those are gonna be two dead infantry. And he's gonna capture that again. He might actually get control of both comp towers. Um, if I'm Chimpy, do I consider blocking with two tanks here? I don't know. Losing two tanks to capture a comp tower is probably not worth it. So he's just gonna allow it to be interrupted again. Not quite uh, stopped, but fortunately for Chimpy, he does not have an infantry backup to once again combine right here. So he doesn't really care too much. Chimpy is getting very close to another power though. Tordred is quite far away from the superpower. Eagle gets worse and worse as the game goes on. Now, the reason being, he's completely power reliant. He needs that superpower. Lightning Strike is his, his, his sustenance. That's how he survives. He's not a day-to-day -day CO at all. I mean, his chopters are, and bombers and stuff are slightly better, but he's completely dependent on the superpower. And as the game goes on, it gets 20% harder to get your superpower. And notice at the beginning, it costs, I don't know, like 90,000 or some shit. Now it costs 113,400 to get to the superpower. And as the game goes on, it's gonna be 128,000, 144,000. I'm just making up numbers, but it's gonna get harder and harder. And it's gonna be less about the superpowers and more about the day-to-day. -day. And Max's day-to-day -day is better. His vehicles are 20% stronger. That's how it goes. And his copters. Sure, he doesn't have artillery, but his vehicles are stronger. His day-to-day -day is not, not arguably better. It is better. Max is more of a day-to-day -day CO than Eagle is. Max is more of a day-to-day -day CO than Olaf is. So Max gets better and better as the game goes on. Some people think, oh, as the game goes on, like uh, the CO, like the Stolly COs would, right? That makes sense if, the game, if they don't do anything, but if you're constantly fighting and grinding and fighting and grinding and losing units on both sides, Max will come out on top. As long as you maintain the max pressure, you will go on top as Max. You will have that advantage. Day-to-day -day powers become better and better as the game goes on, whereas the superpower dependency of get worse and worse. That's just how it goes. Kind of counterintuitive, but that's how it works. So, if I'm Chimpy, I'm happy to survive this long. Two lightning strikes and he hasn't won as, as Eagle? Like, hell yeah. And Chippy's fighting into it in another max force before the Star or the Tortured Superpower. Oh shit, this is not gonna be good for. Oh man, Chippy is. He is. Ooh, I, man, he's feeling. He's, he's going. Chimpy is loving life right now. He has gotten bailed out. Oh, he's gonna attack that and get, oh my God. Oh man, Chimpy, Chimpy. You thought he was dead. Oh my God, the Chimpster. The Chimpster, everyone thought he was dead. And now he's got a nine unit advantage. Almost a hundred thousand unit value advantage. I don't care that, that Tortured has a superpower. You're not gonna get even with that. With 68,000 worth of units, Chimpy has to be through the moon. He's gotten bailed. I'm not, I don't, I don't like saying lucky. It was Tordred's mistakes. It wasn't luck involved. It was complete Tordred's own doing, but he should be happy with how things are turning out. And Tordred, let's see what he can do. He's gonna kill a few copters and kill the Neo tanks, sure. But other than that, like, you, yeah, use a lightning strike. He's still six units behind. Um, uh, brings his units in. Okay, okay, he's getting near. Actually, props, props to Tordred. He did actually get within 10,000 of Chimpy. I said before, he's not gonna go ahead, but honestly, getting within 10,000, that's pretty good. Still behind in units. Still behind on value. Dead even. Chimpy, despite winning all those units. Despite being in the thick of it, he has not converted this to an infinite advantage. He has not been able to convert that. He has not been able to convert that. He has not been able to convert that. His infantry are just chilling over here. Honestly, maybe I would have moved one slightly. I mean, it's been 
10 turns ago, he probably could have moved one over here and captured that, to be perfectly honest. Put a tank there and something else to block a recon, maybe. Um, but he hasn't really been able to convert. That's the thing with Advanced Wars. You can fight and fight and fight, but you need to convert infantry capturing properties eventually if you want to have a sustainable income advantage. Now he's trying to do it at the bottom over here, which is a little dubious, but he does have a copter. So actually this might work out. He might actually be able to convert that now. It's day 33, but hey, converting eventually is better than nothing. Kills off a copter. Probably, no, he's not, not really pulling back. I don't like this because it reveals you have an anti. I would have put one like right over here maybe to cover. Uh, you don't want to reveal your hand and how many anti's you have. But Chimpy is, is, is the chimp grin. He's, he's loving life right now. And uh, okay, he's probably gonna attack with the anti and for the anti, that's interesting. Um, you're not gonna block that copter though. That, that copter is dead. Chimpy, boomba, boonga. Heal the Neo Tank, I love it. Two base maps, you love to heal. Healing's the name of the game on two base maps. Attack the, I, I like that, attack the tank, not the anti-air, because most of your copters are gonna be on over here anyway. I like that, gonna kill that, combine here, and it's yours. So, Chimpy will be able to convert if he does that exact. Mm. Honestly, I would've killed that with the copter, combined there, and it's guaranteed yours. Well, he doesn't know it's guaranteed, so maybe he thinks there's other units over here, which is understandable. Would've been nice, though. But now we're in the teens. We're in 30s. Near the 40s in units in, uh, count, and now we're in the teens where it belongs. Like I say, proper baboons in the first beginning. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, ah. Ooh. Ooh, ah, ah. Now it's just a like, You can pretend to be a smart baboon, but eventually the genes come in. And you just like <laughs> you know, it just takes over. Baboon brain, and you can you can prevent it for so long, but the primal instinct will come in eventually. I would have killed off this unit over here rather than weakening that to one. Perfectly honest, you want to get the unit count, but whatever. Torjoid fighting up over there. Still, f if I'm chimpy, honestly, I probably would do a front shift because you know there's a lot of copters over here. And despite crushing towards you at the turn before, I, you don't want to fight into this long term because he's going to have more copters here, he's going to have more units. Front shift down over here, take control of that, take control of that, and that's too greedy, but take control of these two properties, convert this with this infantry over here, and you're looking pretty good. So, the Chimpy, he's feeling, he's feeling feisty. One copter kill, two copter kill, three copter kill. He, uh... He's not letting go. He wants to convert. He's you know, honestly not doing a terrible idea. Um, but you're gonna run out of those powers though. But oh my god, Tordred. Look what they've done to the Tordred. Luckily for Tordy Dread over here, he will be able to interrupt, interrupt with the recon. Luckily this recon's over here. If it wasn't then, you're gonna capture that after two turns. Uh, but Tordred, 13 units. Tordred. We're on day 35, and uh, it's 13 to 19 units, just a little bit ago. Remember, remember the good old days, 13 units, and now, uh, remember when he had 36 units and 200,000? Yeah, now we're down to a measly little weakling. 13. Not great. But, Torjoid's fighting back, he's gonna make Chimpy lose some units with him. If you're going down to, if you're pushing me down to 13, I'm bringing you down to 16. So now it's 16 apiece. That's what you kind of want to see is max. Honestly, uh, this is tricky. I still would want a front shift and capture this property. Fighting into this near a Tordred superpower, I mean, it's not even that near anymore. It's 40,000. Like I said, Eagle gets worse as the game goes on and on. It can, it, assuming there's continuous fighting, it's harder and harder to reach a superpower. So he probably won't even reach it this turn. It looks like Chimpy's already starting to front shift a little bit towards the bottom. He's bringing a tank over there. Mmm, uh, very ballsy attack. Uh, using the anti-air to clear an infantry. You usually don't want to see an anti-air clearing an infantry. If he's smart, I'd move this tank over here. Get vision of the airport, and then attack with the copter. Let's see if he does that. See, this is why tanks, 1 HP tanks are better than nothing. They can give you vision. 
Put that bad boy in the corner, put that over here. I don't care, put it over here and it's suicided. But you wanna see, damn son, you wanna put the tank there and then you wanna attack it to the airport. Eh, whatever. You'd rather heal it, I guess. And there's no backup. I, Fred shift, put a tank there, a tank there. How are you gonna stop it? Attack with a copter, then you kill it with an anti-air. The Chimpy's really focusing on the strong side of Tordred over here, rather than going in the middle. I would've front shifted ages ago, but Tordred getting a little ballsy over there. Now he sees, uh-oh, probably not a great idea. I see what's going on over here. You do like a recon over here because it gives you an idea of the intel. It's not gonna do much work, but it's gonna give you some uh, valuable insight into the uh, uh, units, unit composition. But Chimpy, second big boy Neo, and he's got the Mun Muns to heal the other one too. And uh, Chimpy now doing the front shift. Smart Chimp, smart Chimp. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, let's go. But we're still in the teens. Chimpy double, basically, the unit value of Tordred. But you don't want to back up too much. You want to go over here and push. When I say front shift, I don't mean go here. Uh, no, I mean here, push. Take control of that. Maybe take control of that. Put some pressure over here. Still attack a lot. Get out of range of one turn and reinforcements from the airport. You don't want to get one turn. Uh, reinforcements from the airport you want to fight in the middle and then maybe push over here get control of that that property over there um so don't let them prol proliferate when i say front shift that doesn't mean oh take off the gas no i mean put the freaking gas on but in a different location you want to maintain that max pressure campaign but just maybe in a different location honestly don't like it. Go down here, dude. Go down here. Why are you going over here? He's bunching up. He's scared of the Tordred power, the superpower, but still 30,000 away. He's not going to get that in one turn with this little measly unit. He's only got 17 units, 80,000 worth of unit value. He's not going to get a superpower in one turn that far away. He's going to have to sack half of his unit value in order to even get his superpower, so that's not happening. And now we see that first bomber of the match. He sees the Neo tank. He's building the Tordred Bomber. And those Tordred Bombers are not easy to kill, even with the max artillery. Probably gonna bring it down to one or two HP, uh, which is perfectly fine, actually. You don't wanna be fighting within one turn reinforcements. Copters are bad enough. You don't wanna be fighting within one turn reinforcements of the airport. You need to get this property. Chimpy, chimpy, get this property. All the fighting, 18,000 the entire game. You need something to show for it. You need something to show for all the fighting. Yes, you won. Yes, you have more unit value. Yes, that's great. Your KD is probably better. Let's look at the KD. Yeah, he's killed 77 units to 65. He's killed 12 more units than Swordred. But he doesn't have an extra property. You need to get the property, Chimpy. Ooh. Ooh. And he's fighting into... Oh, Chimpers. He saw Tordred make some baboonian mistakes earlier, very like, ooh, ooh, ooh. doesn't know what he's doing. And he's like, I'll return the favor. You did some dumb shit. Let me double that up. I'll fight into that. Hell, if he brings that Neo tank into that, that'd be, that'd be the cherry on top. Luckily for him, that Neo tank is barely out of range of that bomber. He's probably not going to get the uh, superpower as well, so that Neo tank will be okay. But yeah, that was a waste of an infantry basically brought him down. Oh my god, but Chimpy has so much more unit value, but like I said, nothing to show for it. You need to do something. These are chilling. That should be capping. This should be under threat constantly. This should be under threat constantly. Bring one tank down over here. I don't care, but do something. Day 40. Usually when you get to a game this long and it's day 40, there's usually mistakes being made because a, an efficient player would have capitalized on this game by one by now. Tordred would have had a super strong Superpower in one, Chimpy would have converted to a strong income advantage in one, but this is a little inefficient, uh, which is fine, you know? Not everyone's a robot, not everyone plays super strong. They're playing, Tordred's playing better than me probably at this point, or he normally does. Maybe I probably would have won by now, but normally he plays stronger than me, doing a little baboony and stuff. Chimpy, oh my god, Chimpy, he's letting Tordred proliferate. He made the mistake before, and now he's letting it again. I think Tordred learned his lesson about attacking into it though, so let's see. But Chimpy, just because it worked one time doesn't mean it just block. Tank here, tank here. You need to get that freaking thing. No infantry back, but you need to bring the infantry. Bring the infantry down here so you can at least join cap the turn after. No, he allows that to happen. A free infantry kill. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's 30,000. 30,000 when it was 70,000 unit value to 100,000 unit value is a lot bigger than 194,000 to 168,000. It's just not as much, relatively. Chimpy has two Neo tanks, and that's cool and all. But boom, one shot. Boom, superpower, one shot. That bomber can kill two Neo tanks in two turns. He's letting up the pressure. Chippy's gotta hope for the same baboonian mistakes that hurt him in the first time. Cause this is a death ball now. Stay 43. Remember when there was all this little garbage here? You're winning. Push down here. Get that. Push down there. Probably even get that. Maybe even that. Do something. Instead. Like. Oh. <laughs> we saw into the future. Okay, but now, Chimpy comes in. Tordred might have made the same mistake he did last time. Allowing the max power before his own. However, luckily for him, Chimpy is a little out of position. This tank is on the fringe of society for some reason. Some misanthrop bullshit. Like, it should be over here or something. Like, these need to be better positioned. But he's probably still gonna pop his power anyway, because he's Chimpy. Just fine. Boomba, power's coming, one shot, boom. Max force, he's not gonna be able to kill the bomber though. And I would've used the recon first. I would've used the recon first to see what I'm dealing with. But uh, yeah, attack with the recon first, see what you're dealing with, dude. Oh, and you see the Antara coming in as well. Beep, beep, one shot. Okay, he's at least gonna hit the artillery. This is gonna be a brutal, Tordred scop though. And these aren't even really covering all the units. I would have brought these down further. Even though they wouldn't be covered, I still would have brought them a little closer because they're not going to reach these front tanks towards the end. And uh, Chimpy's ahead 100,000. He's ahead nine units. My god, it's always going to be 18,000 to 18,000. No one ever converts in this match. It's kind of sad to be perfectly honest, particularly for Chimpy because he's max and he should be converting. But we're day 44, Tordred has a freaking bomber. This is gonna get ugly. 100,000 ahead, eight units. This, that's gonna dissipate, that's gonna evaporate. It's not gonna be pretty. Bomber's gonna get so much work done. Already because a copter. Boom! Doesn't quite kill, oof. Attacks the medium tank. It's because he had the plus 10% for defense from the power that would have one shot otherwise. And now, this is gonna hurt. Boom. 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 So many kills. Kills a copter. Tries to kill the Neo tank. Doesn't kill the Neo tank. How am I gonna? How are you gonna reach this little cop? He knows there's a second Neo tank. It's hidden in a forest though. How are you gonna reach that? Is that Neo tank going to escape? This evil superpower by Tordred? Is he going to escape? Oh, will it escape? No, the 9 HP copter reveals, and now Tordred can come in and drop a heavy payload from the Enola Gay on that Neo tank. Boom! Brings it down to two. Honestly, if I'm Chimpy, I'm, I'm happy those two survived, but um, yeah, it's not looking great. 16 units, 24. Um, you can kill the bomber at least or weaken it. Uh, let's see what Chimpy can do in the counterattack. Kills one copter, kills a tank, Kill um, okay. Um, yeah, not great. He's pulling ahead in terms of unit value, but Tordred, he's he's murdering units now. He's he's in the murdering mode. Kill off the medium tank. And Chimpy, Chimpy's honestly getting to the point of no return. Thirteen unit value. Seven or 13 unit count, 24 for Eagle. He has a power, but he's not gonna really able to convert. Um, and now he has, I don't know how you come back from this to be perfectly honest. Tordred comes in with all his units, murders, he's overextending though. Tordred, overextending, that was his demise earlier. 
He has a break in the recon. Maybe if he can sneak that bad boy in the forest. Permanent idea if there's a if there's a copter coming out of there every turn. That's actually not a bad idea. Investing this recon, I mean it was cool over here, but imagine sneaking. Sneaky. Boom. Boom. We go. One, two, three. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sneak in there. Sneak in there. Every turn you see. Oh. Imagine how diabolical if you had a missiles that snuck all the way over here and the missiles snuck over here. That'd be epic. Not gonna lie. If you got a missiles over here, I, oh, you're, you round of applause. I don't think that's ever happened, but that'd be so badass. Chippy, max force. I don't know if that's gonna be nearly enough though. Oh, he's getting some copter kills, but he's only got two anti-air and they're both weak as shit. Um, He's still fighting on, though. He's still fighting on. I mean, Tordred's got some pretty weak unit composition. But the copters are just too much. He's got no anti-air. He's got one single anti-air right off his base. He's got 12 units. He's got half the units as Tordred. He's pulling back. He's really pulling back now. And I think Tordred smells the weakness. He's going to be able to convert with his infantry now. Or not really. He could try converting that, but he's, he's weakened. So let's see what he can do with that. He's probably going to bring that infantry up. No, he's not even going for this property. He realizes it's too close. Maybe he's going for this property over here. Or maybe we're going for this uh, side over there. Honestly, if I'm Tordred, sit back and chill. Wait till you get enough more units. And then you pop your super power. And then you just win straight up. Chimpy now has four Antair. So Tordred does have to be a little careful about that. Looks like Tordred's completely front shifting to the bottom now. He wants to catch Chimpy off guard. He wants to capture this. He wants to capture this without any units ready. But I think Chimpy might sniff that out. He's been, he doesn't have any recons anymore, but he sees that there's nothing really going on over here. There's nothing really going on over here. Where are the units? Going to fight into Chimpy's strong side over here, but Chimpy doesn't really have any copters. He has one single copter up there. Let's see if Chimpy sniffs it out. I think he does. Yeah, he sniffs that out, but there's a lot of units. There's a lot. There's a lot of units there. And Tordred, luckily for Chimpers, 40,000 units, or 40,000 uh, away from getting the charge required for that. But Chimpers, down to 17 units. He's, he's still slightly ahead on unit value, but not for long. That, that Neo tank is going to get busted. He, Tordred, luckily for Chimpy, doesn't have enough. Like I said, Ego gets worse with time, Max gets stronger. I don't know what Chimpy's counterattack to this though. There's, okay, there we go. Actually, we're gonna get a lot of copter kills. Let's look at this. One copter kill, max force. Uh, you don't really wanna see a tank doing that. Medium tank coming in, Kapauga. Doesn't quite see that copter. Ooh, that'd be a nice copter kill. Uh, his vision is really shitty right now. Second copter, oh, kills that first. Then he kills the copter over there. Unfortunately, this anti doesn't really have any targets. He does. He would be able to kill that copter over there, which would significantly neuter Tordred's last uh, superpower. Double recons. Uh, I would have built a tank. He realizes he has no vision over here. If he had vision, if he had one single recon, he would have been able to kill that. He would have more better understood what he was fighting into over here. But now, now Tordred's coming in with the superpower. It's not gonna be pretty. He's he's gonna set up this artillery to get in range of this. He's got this artillery already set up to kill that. This is gonna be a brutal superpower and it's probably gonna spend the end of Chimpy. Boomba, Boomba, Boomba. Boom, 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 boom. Chimpy with nine units. Yeah, there's no comeback from that. I don't know, you can take a turn. There's no coming back. And Chimpy resigns, wisely resigns. That was a roller coaster. That was a roller coaster. And honestly, Chimpy was doing raid right on kill to death, but he never was able to conv even at the end. Chimpy had more kills than deaths, even though he got to nine units. That's how net he got to nine units. He still had better kills to death ratio. That is insane. But he never converted. He never got a single property more. Never, never. Didn't get through that. Didn't capture that. Didn't capture that. Wasn't able to convert a single property, and that really hurt him. That really hurt him. If you're facing Eagle, I don't care how many good kill to death ratios you had. I don't care how great your tactics are. You need to have the income advantage as well. As you can see, you can play out of your mind. Torja can bungle up some weird shit. But let me attack before my superpower and lose half your army. Oh, now I'll use the superpower. No, 
stay back and chill. Look, Torjed, he, he plays for fun. He's like me, he plays for fun. He doesn't really give a shit. He'll do what he wants to do. He got bored. That's honestly, I think, what happened. He got bored. Um, he played suboptimally. Uh, just out of boredom. And I, I, honestly, I respect that. You don't really want to have Star Wars. You play this game for fun. It's not to, oh, I have the highest rating ever. <laughs> like, yeah, that's nice and all. A little ego boost for temporarily. But you play this game for fun. So I understood some of Tordred's uh, baboon-brained attacks. But, uh, and Chippy was bailed out time and time again, bailed out. But he was just so passive as Max. Oh, you know me? I'm put a tank right here. Oh, went over. Like, if you're scared over here, shift. If you're scared over, like, shift. Your army needs to be acting and can't be passive. You need to have infantry in position to capture that. You need to have infantry in position to capture that. He wasn't able to convert. You need to be able to convert. He sacked timeless infantry. One died here, or probably five died here, five died here, five died here, because he didn't have any backup. He didn't have any tanks to block. He didn't have any infantry to uh, join cap with that to finally convert. He just didn't have anything to follow up and get any compensation in terms of income. But his kill to death was great. He had perfect power timings. I really liked how Chimpy used his powers very effectively. He used his powers definitely better than Tordred did. Uh, but in the end, Tordred, you build up a shit ton of units. And he nearly lost to, he got to 220,000 units, I think. And he still nearly lost. That just boggles my mind uh, to lo nearly lose at his Neagle. But in the end, Chimpy's passivity, I think he did it. He just, he was just too passive, wasn't able to convert. And because of that, Tordred is the victor. And Tordred has been on a tear. Tor Tanky Tordred has been on a tear. First he beat Ghost 7. Now he's he's doing some baboony and shit and he's still winning. Tordred, I, I would watch out for Tordred. Anyway, I hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys were entertained. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.